And we're back. Uh, we are just still walking through the upgraded castle courtyard, I guess is what I'm going to refer to this area as. I thought right here, this line right here, was where they encountered uh, the new area. But I suppose not. Hello, bomb guy. So you merge into here real quick. And then you follow this wall, because that'll sneak you behind this guy. And that's how close to the end we were. Like, it looks like we just have to walk past this guy. And here is the end of it. So I was hoping to do that last part. It wound up taking a little long because we got caught three or four times. Uh, but we are ready to take on the Dark Palace. We still have all of our fairies from before. And it looks like we'll need bombs. Which you would think that, of all things, would get me caught. But nope, we've made it safely into the Dark Palace. And, looks like we also need the lamp. Which, I don't think it's possible for you to not have the lamp at this point. But, lighting all of these... Uh, was there one more over here that I missed? No? Huh, interesting. But it looks like we can break this area right here. A blue ruby. That was a really worthwhile, um, destruction, I guess. Uh, likewise on this side, apparently there's one that I could blow up. I guess we get to it a different way. Drop the bomb there, and brings us across. Oh, interesting. Can I not get back if I... So you can throw bombs up there, and the light opens up the eyes. So if we look, we can see there's some stuff right here. But by actually going there, we, we realize that it's not quite the case. Stepping on that switch will unlock. Will unlock a key for us, as well as breaking that to allow the sunlight to fall lower. Um, if you haven't been able to see by now, the light is going to be very helpful for us. And turning on the lamps, lamp, lamps are not necessarily what you want to do in all these situations. So we'll open up this door with the first key, and we've entered a really calm, but you can see there's something rolling in this area. Fortunately, they do, do give us enough torches that we can check that sort of thing. And a nice bomb will be enough to break open that area. We can go down a level already, but I'd rather go check the signs. Alright, blowing up both of those will actually open up... Oh, uh, sorry, we'll drop a treasure chest for it. Just get it still for a second. Uh, and there, we've got the compass. However, you can see there's no place for us to go right now. Alright, one more time. Go up, go down, still no. Why isn't that working? There is it. There is a rock wall there because there is a room south of here that we haven't gotten to yet. In the room south, 
it's our fairy fountain for the dungeon. There's one of these in basically every dungeon, so we just need to take advantage of it. And we can head down a layer now. So, the dark blues are invisible when in range of your um, lamp, lamp. And the other ones are just invisible otherwise. If only there was a nice... I thought there was a lamp point here, but I guess not. Oh, fun. Yeah, with no lamp, and that includes our own fire, we actually have to unequip our lamp in this room if we want to see better. And then there's little, small slits in the wall that actually are our path. You can knock them off, fortunately, with the um, ice rod. So there's a nice little switch hiding right under that skull. I'd show you, but the point of this room is that you can't see very well, unfortunately. And treasure chest, giving us another small key. Now we just have to make it to the next room, which, admittedly, should be right here. And here's the big area. We saw we broke that path up top and that lit up this one already. Uh, we can see there's another switch here. And we have a lot of this room to explore. To open up those. And it's going to be a matter of lighting up all four of those. So we have to pick left or right. I'm going to go with the left because it has a treasure chest in it. And there we go. Here's our mission. By equipping the lantern again light here and actually see what we're looking at. A slanted path. Fortunately, it's not timed. So it's just a matter of... getting all three to land. And that gets us... Our dungeon item, which is the big key. Not our dungeon item, then. Um, so with the big key, that means we're already most of the way to the end. However, we can't open this door now, so let's go north. Like the other room, this is a darkness puzzle. So we're going to want to turn off that light and turn off ours to give us the best chance of surviving in here. I like that it's not just um, you can see if you have the land lamp. There's stuff that you are supposed to not use the lamp for to see. That you might not even see if you do um, care on the lamp. So I like I like that we have to both not use the lamp and use the lamp in this case. But we're now back into this first room. But we do have an extra key, so we really should be heading, unfortunately, through this room again. But this is the easier of the two. I can go through this room much quicker than I can go through that room with all the fake walls. And get us back into this area. So I can hurt these guys from down here, thanks to the ice rod. And while I can get them to drop down there, I'd rather just line up with them and ice them to death. Because they, they can't do anything to hurt me from where they're standing right now. 
yeah, call it cheap, I don't care, I have all the items, I'm going to use them. That one's down, and I think I'll say out is one lap, which, ooh, does still take damage from that, sweet. But, by killing them off, we get this nice path that brings us between the layers. And a teleport point. Now from this one, we can actually follow this wall, heal up a bit, and hop off here. Which I think is beneficial. Uh, I'm not sure if the fire rod can light the torch from a layer below. But we've turned on that switch, which is helpful. Let's get back out our lantern. It's, it's a shame just how much switching you have to do in this one. And, well, oh, there's a treasure chest we missed. Let's go back for that. But with that switch on, it's a shame there's not one here that needs to turn on either, but, I mean, you took one to get to the other, so... Oh yeah, it's that one. Let's head back to the second floor. So we need that key still. So we can open up this door. So, we'll head over here. And here's another room full of these friendly, friendly guys to fight us. Now normally, the method I would use to kill these guys... Uh, ...would be the bow, but I like showing because you have bombs, you can blow them up. Much like the last one, they drop and you can run through. And you actually have to in this one. We get the monster tail. It's a bit smelly. And it shows there's actually another path into that room. I like this one. Because you drop this here, you really can't see it very well from this room. But you get a much better view if you go into the bottom area. Which is enough to tell you that, hey, go in through the bottom area for the other ones too. Rupee, and that's pretty much us clearing out everything that's not crucial for the rest of this. So we've got a chest up there, but we got to come from the second floor for that. And we've got a lantern here, but we've got to come from the floor above for that as well. So lots of stuff we got to go up a floor for but still no key. Oh, because I didn't ever drop down here. We, we unlocked it, but we never went and took it. We've got our small key now. We can head to the next floor and actually unlock this door. Forgot about that, unfortunately. I love the staircases, it's just annoying that the second you touch the edge of it, it's like, no, you're taking the staircase now. Alright. So we can open up both these paths real quick with... So here's our purple rupee, very useful, and we still had to get one more thing over here too, that gap to drop. Actually just gonna jump down this way and head right back up. Um, 
since I didn't explain it very well a second ago, you would eventually you'd walk in here, hit it, and watch they both flip. And then you merge to one after bombing it. But I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.